Hello everyone, welcome to Research Champ. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to do some estimation of Bershear list of squares structural equation modeling using the Smart PLS software. But first, I'm going to show you the Smart PLS software. So from this website here, smartpls.com, you can download the software, you can have a free 30 day trial. It's free for everyone. If you just click here and then you put your email and then you follow the steps and then you will have 30 day free trial. And after 30 days, you can actually buy the software if you need it. For example, I have a licensed version of the software because I keep using it time to time. So I have a version for use all the time which I normally renew every year. So here, if we click here on pricing, you can see the pricing here. So for students, normally it's free, but it comes and for professional use, for academic use, normally you can have it with 220 euro for a year. And if you want to have commercial use for one person, you will have, you'll have to pay like 440 euros. And if you want to buy it for a company, setting then you have to pay a little bit higher price it's about uh 3520 euros right so and here you can see what are the things that you will have access to uh, if you have the free version or the student version okay so here you can see them easily but normally with the free version 30 trial 30 day trial free version you can access more or less everything you can do all kinds of estimation it works pretty fine okay and one of the suggestion from my side would be that when you watch these videos just after watching them you know you will have the data set available so estimate the model using the data set provided in these sessions okay and here if you want to download it you can also go here here you can see the download version for the mac and here you have the windows version and currently we have the 3.3.3 which is the latest version the developers of the program keep updating it from time to time and normally when there is a new version it comes with much more features and uh, improved visualization often so uh, that's good to have the it's good to have the latest version okay and here you can find some resources okay here you will have some resources on different books uh, the recommended literature recent developments you will also have some links to different videos and on different algorithms and techniques okay so you will have you have a lots of resources here so if you need more information after watching my videos you can always come back and look for more information here and you have the support here if you have any questions anything comes up in your mind you have if you face any technical issues feel free to get in touch with the developer team and they also have some courses here on the smart pls okay and here are the two main books developed uh, which are written by the developers of the of the smart pls software and i highly recommend these two books if you want to really keep using it for long term and if you want to learn it in very detail so i really recommend going through uh, buying and reading these two books okay so now if you don't have the software go here start 30 day free trial and download and install the software in your computer okay and if you have the software fantastic you can follow me with the videos so here is my smart pls and i'm going to open it so when you open the software it would normally look like this okay and here you see under project explorer i have a lot of things and if you're running it for the first time it will have it blank okay so normally the setup here is that here you have your projects where you will load your data and where you will have your canvas, canvas name or canvas file. And here you will have your main canvas and here you will see your data sets. Okay. So that's the main idea of this software here. And uh, under file here, you see you can create a new project. So for every project, every research you want to do, you should create a new project. Okay, as you can see here, I have quite a lot of projects for different papers. I have a project. Okay, each of these projects mean a different paper. Okay, different paper and different analysis, right? 
And here you can see you can import project from a backup file, you can import project from a folder, you can import sample projects. So if you don't have any projects, you can just click here and go and import some sample projects and you can play with it. And under edit, you see, but for now, for now, we only have rename, but when we load the data and select projects, we will have all other options uh, activated. And in view, you can see that you can do this zoom in, zoom out, hide indicators, show indicators, this kind of things. Here, we can have different themes, okay? Uh, but I'm going to go with the default one for now. And here you can see the calculate. Here you see all the algorithms that are normally used for estimation. So when we'll have set up our model, then we'll use some of these algorithms to estimate them to get the results, right? And here in about, you can learn about the software. You can switch license. You can check for updates, right? And in language, you see there are quite a few languages that are supported by the software. So for now, I'm going to use English. But if you prefer to have another language, feel free to switch to the one that you would like. So this first video, I'm going to end this video by simply creating a project. Okay. So here we go for new project or you can go from here as well, create new project. So, but I can just click here. So new project. So I'm giving a project name called our half course. Okay. And uh, or our video, whatever I want. Uh, normally you see I have other names normally the names of the paper or the names of the project So that's what I use in the project name these videos. I'm making for my researcher platform So that's why I'm going to call it our half course and okay So now you see we have this our half course. This is our project here and if I double click here This is our canvas. It opens a canvas here. Okay, so under each project, you will have mainly two things. One is canvas and another one is your data set. And here, I to import data, I have to just double click here and then I have to select the data file. Okay. So I will now browse to my data file and load my file. So here I am and this is my data file and you have to remember that the data file must be in CSV format. And in your variable names, it is really better if there is no gap between the variable names within the data set. But now I'm just going to load it. And in the next video, I will show you the data set and we'll explain it and then we'll uh, move forward with it. But now I'm just going to load it here. Okay, open and this is going to be my data set name. Okay. And here you see it's running some calculation. Okay. And this is another great thing that the smart PLS will provide you the descriptive statistics of more or less all the items and variables in your data set automatically just after you load the data file. So that's something really great. And the calculation is going on. So it's taking a minute or something like that. So it's taking a while. So I'm just going to cl click reanalyze. Okay. So it felt like maybe it was not really, it was kind of uh, stuck or something like this. So I clicked reanalyze and then we have the results here. So this is really great. As you can see, I have my variable names. Uh, I have the mean, median, if there are some missing values, you know, standard mi uh, minimum value, maximum value, standard deviation, cardosis and skewness. So that's really excellent what we have here. And if you want to see the correlation between the raw data Okay, between among all the variables here, you have the correlation, you know, and if you want to use this, it's really easy. You just clip here, copy the clipboard, and then you can open an Excel file. Okay, so I'm going to open an Excel file and just going to paste it in my Excel file. So here, and then paste. You see, it's a very nice correlation. And now let's say if you want to report this correlation on the item level. So these are the items actually, these are the coded items. So what we can do, I can just remove this delete and here I am. I can also remove all these ones. Delete. Great. And then here, I know this is not really an item, this variable. So I'm going to delete as well. And I'm going to delete that variable from here as well. But normally I do not really recommend reporting this item level correlation because you see it's a huge table, right? So I normally recommend that you, if you have like a smaller number of items, then it's okay. But if you have like 40, 50 items, then not a good idea, right? 
But one more thing I must mention is that, you know, here, when you see it turns green, that means data is imported properly. So that's really very important. That data is imported properly. If it's not green here, okay, that would mean that data is not imported properly. Okay, so pay attention to that. And a lot of the times I face the problem that, you know, if in some of the variables you have some text and between text there are some spaces in the text or some kind of uh, abnormal uh, text, abnormal like codes like hash or dollar symbol, some things like that, then the data is often not loaded properly and then you will not really be able to analyze the data set using the software. So make sure there are no gaps in your variable names and also no text file with abnormal digits or abnormal symbols in you in, in, in the variable names okay or in the in the variable data so if there are then remove them make sure that you have only numbers and that looks nice right so here we have our canvas which is a blank canvas and here we have our data set so that's all we do in this video and in the next video i'm going to show you how to create a latin variable and I will also explain the data set that we have here and how you can proceed with the next steps. Okay, so thank you for watching this video.